Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we are learning the algorithm for deleting first node from linked list. Let us suppose we have linked list which contain three nodes. Every node of linked list contain two parts. The first part is info part. Info part contain the information. Let us suppose that we have the number 7 so that will be stored in node 1. Number 9 stored in the info part of node 2 or maybe 11 that is stored in the info part of node 3. The second part of every node is link part. Link part contain the address of next node. So node 1 link part contain the address of node 2. Node 2 link part contain the address of node 3. And node 3 link part contain null. Null signify no further node available. The linked list which contain information and on which we work that is having the start pointer. Start pointer contain the address of first node which is node 1. This is the linked list in which we store our elements and we work. In the system there is one more linked list which contain the available spaces. Let us suppose that we have two available spaces. That means we have two free nodes available. These nodes also contain two parts. The first one is info. Info part is empty because these are the free available spaces. And every node also contain second part which is link part. Link part contain the address of next node. So first free node, link part contain the address of second free node. And second free node, link part contain the null. Available list has avail pointer, which contain the address of first free node. Then we have location. Location will contain the address of node that we want to delete. And we know that in this linked list, we want to delete the first node. This algorithm delete the first node from linked list. That means we want to delete the node number one, which contain the value that is seven. Line number one says, if start is equal to null, we know that the linked list on which we work can store the element that contain the start pointer. Or let us suppose start is null. That signify we don't have any node inside the list. So here we don't have any node to delete. In that case, algorithm will write under flow. That means we don't have any node to delete and it will exit from the algorithm. But here we can see that node 1, node 2 and node 3 are available in the linked list. That means start is not equal to null and we can delete the first node from this linked list. In that case, algorithm will go to the line number 2 and it will set location is equal to start. So here in the location, we are setting the value of start and start contain the address of node number one. That means node number one, we want to delete. So location is pointing on node one and start is equal to. So here we are going to modify the value of start and that will be equal to link of start. We know that start is pointing to the node 1 and node 1 is having the link part which is having the address of node 2. So here we are going to modify the start with the link start means start is now pointing to the node 2 and the previous value of start is updated. In line number 3, we have set link of loc. We know that location pointer is having the address of node 1. And here, link part, 
that means we are talking about this pointer which is equal to avail so here location link part is having the value which is taken by the avail and we know that avail contain the address of first node so here loc link is having the address of first node and the previous value of link part is updated then we have avail is equal to so here the available value we are updating and that is equal to loc so here the available is having the value of loc and loc contain the address of first node so that means avail is now having the address of node 1 and its previous value is updated when the node 1 become the part of avail list so its value will be lost and not be considered so we are assuming that this is the free node then in the line 4 we are going to exit from the algorithm so here we can see that if we start from the link list then here the start contain the address of node 2 so it will traverse the value 9 then it will be going to the node number 3 traverse the value 11 and it will be going to the end so now the link list contain only two nodes which is 9 and 11 if we talk about the available list so here avail pointer contain the address of node 1 that means node 1 is also added to the available list so here now we are having the three nodes which are free into the available list which is node 1 1 and 2 these are the free nodes so that was the algorithm to delete the first node from link list where we have deleted the node number 1 from the main link list and we have added to the avail list as the free space